Daytona Beach, Florida, widely considered a hotspot for vacationers seeking sun, sand, and of course the rush of NASCAR racing. But there's more to this tropical paradise. Daytona Beach is home to a haven for art, science, and history. What started as a small children's museum more than a half a century ago has now bloomed into a massive collection of fine arts, historical artifacts, and science exhibits, all set on an astounding 90-acre natural preserve. Thanks to a long-standing partnership with the city of Daytona Beach, the Museum of Arts and Sciences encourages inspiration, curiosity, and the love of knowledge for residents and visitors alike. The city of Daytona has played a very important role in the success of this institution. This is a 60-acre nature preserve upon which the city leased us the property for a dollar a year to build the buildings on. And at a certain point, our then director determined it would be to our benefit to have this property gifted to us so that we could use that in our evaluation of the institution when we were applying for city, state, federal grants. They also have a wonderful ability to project our institution in the public relations work that the city does on the city, state, and national level when they're talking about our community. This is the, the cultural institution that they focus on, for which we're very grateful. Commonly referred to as MOAS, this museum houses objects from around the world, but also has one of the finest collections of American art in the Southeast, and hosts the most significant collection of Cuban art outside of Cuba. President uh, Batista was president of uh, Cuba for about a decade. He found the Daytona area to be a, an area that he enjoyed being in, he loved the people and the climate, and he purchased three homes uh, on Halifax Avenue. When Castro took over the country and Batista was no longer allowed back here, he donated the buildings and the art to the city of Daytona. And <laughs> the Batistas only uh, purchased or acquired the best of the best. And so when you, you enter our Cuban Museum area, um, we have on display wonderful paintings, we have photographs, lithographs, and more recently we have included some of the Taino materials as well. Moaz also features Florida's history. It's natural history, that is, the Center for Florida History is home to a 13-foot skeleton of a giant ground sloth unearthed locally in 1975. This towering Ice Age mammal gives visitors a glimpse into the kind of creatures Florida hosted 130,000 years ago. The giant ground sloth is one of our great treasures and one of our signatures here at the museum. Um, it was found in 1979, three miles south of the museum. It's been a great teaching tool and it's been a real exciting thing for our community. One of the most exciting recent discoveries that the museum has had has been this American Mastodon. American Mastodon is a prehistoric elephant that used to live in Florida and it was found just about a mile north of the museum off of Nova Road and it roamed through this area about 100,000 years ago up to about 11,000 years ago and we found some major parts of this skeleton including some beautiful tusks, uh, jaws and teeth, uh, some ribs and uh, some vertebrae as well. And it was, it's important because it tells us about what life was like here in prehistoric times. One of the museum's most popular collections is nothing short of All American, an entire wing dedicated to all things Coca-Cola. Donated by the Root family, whose ancestor designed the fizzy favorite's famous contour bottle, the Root Family Museum is the largest anthology of Coca-Cola outside of the company's Atlanta headquarters. The Roots have donated a, a lot of, of artifacts to the museum, including uh, railroad cars, trains, vending machines, uh, teddy bears, uh, documents, uh, artifacts from Coca-Cola conventions, uh, and, and, and an intact, complete pharmacy from Philadelphia as well. So it's a really amazing collection. And they felt that it was important to preserve it and keep it all in one place, keep it intact for the public good. And they chose the museum here because they've had this trusted relationship with the museum for a long time. 
Many consider Central Florida a place to relax and catch some rays, but Daytona is also the place where nature and culture collide. The Museum of Arts and Sciences in Daytona Beach unites art, science, and history. See the incredible Napoleonic collection uniquely housed in visible storage. Examine Ice Age fossils unearthed from the Daytona bone bed. Get a taste of Americana. Explore more than a half a mile of walking paths through the lush Hydric Hammock, home to numerous endangered species, and marvel at one of the most significant collections of American art in the Southeast. The Dow Gallery of American Art is one of our jewels. This is, without question, the most significant, finest, and largest collection of American decorative art in Florida. Beautiful Hudson River paintings, furniture, silver, glass, an original John James Audubon oil painting of the American bridled weasels, which is a very significant Audubon piece. And people come to our museum and are bowled over by the quality, quantity, but certainly the quality of these furnishings because it's, it's not an ordinary collection by any stretch of the imagination. We're very proud of it. It's a beautiful, beautiful exhibition. The museum recently opened the Helene B. Roberson Visible Storage Building. Here, objects not currently on exhibit can be explored by visitors to the museum while still preserved in their unique casings. When you walk into the visible storage area, it's just, wow, <laughs> this is exciting. It's a little bit like going backstage. In our visible storage area, we have focused on the, the Napoleonic period of time and we have the one of three death masks done of Napoleon, and it is, it's quite, quite exciting. <laughs> you come in and, and walk around into that dark corner, and there he is looking right at you. The preservation and exhibition of these objects would not be possible without the generous support of donors and patrons of the museum. MOAS is reliant on these contributions to continue its important work. From my personal perspective, uh, supporting this museum, it, it's, a, it's a great treasure to the community. And it offers something for everyone. Whether you're a nature lover, you love the stars and the planet, if you love art, if you love history, if you love fossils, we have it all here and we believe that people should support this museum, which I think is one of the best in the Southeast. We have so many things to offer. We need to get the word out, let people understand what's available, and convince them that it's really important and it's up to them to help to make this continue for the next generations. The Museum of Arts and Sciences in Daytona Beach, where art, science, and history unite. Visit us online at moaz.org.